believe that there's going to be an outpour of the Spirit of God in this house on today. All we have to do is be ready and ready and willing to receive whatever God has to offer us on today. We want to welcome God and just join in and praise and lift up the name of us this morning. Lift up the name of God with us this morning because truly He is a holy one. He is a mighty and righteous Lamb of God. And we're here to give Him glory today. Glory be to God. Oh, 
Father. Thank you, Lord. We come this morning in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray for forgiveness for all of our sins, oh God. Any iniquity in our hearts or minds, oh God, we ask you to purge it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for forgiveness of sins, oh God. We thank you that you're with us, that you'll never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. We thank you that you're mighty and strong in the earth, oh God. For we know it's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, oh God. And we thank you for your spirit. We thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength, oh God. Oh God, we bind every distraction in this house today, oh God. We lose the spirit of goodness. We lose the spirit of grace in this house. We lose the spirit of faith in this house, oh God. Fill our mouths, fill our hearts with grace and mercy, oh God. We thank you, Father, oh God. We bind every distraction. We bind every hindrance spirit in the name of Jesus. We cast down the mighty name of Jesus. We lose the spirit of wellness, of joy, of faith, of goodness and mercy, oh Father. We thank you, oh God, for your spirit is good. We thank you, Lord. We bind the spirit of infirmity. We cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We call forth the angels of God to walk the angels. What the aisles, oh God. Call forth the angels, the war and angels. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for peace. We thank you for joy, oh God. We speak peace over this house, oh God. We speak faith over this house, oh God. Oh God, fill the, the minister's mouth with words, oh God. Let it be your words that he may decrease so that you may increase all the more, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. Oh God, we speak prophecy in this house today, oh God. That we speak from the prophetic. Oh God, we thank you for it. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, let your spirit reveal in us the, the mysteries of your word. Prepare our hearts, oh God, that that word will multiply 30, 60, and 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen.
To all the men of God that grace this pulpit on today, to our guests, visitors, and friends, we do give God all the glory today. How many of you here to worship the Lord? How many of you come to get something from God today? Amen. I don't know about you, but I come to hear from heaven. Heaven got some news that I want to hear tonight. Y'all don't hear me today. Amen. I'm not worried about what the Enquirer has said. I'm not worried about Time Magazine or Washington Post or the Arkansas Democratic Gazette. I want to know what heaven got to say. Somebody say amen. I want to hear the news from heaven. Somebody said extra, extra. Read all about it. There's a message coming soon. Oh, I wish I had a church up in here. Hallelujah. Amen. But before we bring the message today, the greatest choir on this side of the river, the greater new Bible the church of God is going to choir. It's getting ready to come at this time, following our greetings for today. Come on at this time. Let those sanctify hands together and receive the greater new Bible the church of God is going Y'all can do better than that. Give them a good job. Thank you.
Hawkins, proud of my first lady, I brought our American uh, first lady, uh, Mother Roger, to each and every one. We truly want to thank God for being here on this morning. We come to ask if you want to just come out, let's praise God together, let's give God his glory that he deserves, y'all. He deserves more than what we can give. So let me give you some praise. Let me know, Lord, we appreciate you on this morning. We appreciate you for working up this morning. somebody today and say, neighbor, neighbor. I'm not giving up. Neighbor. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to wait till my change comes. Come on and give God some praise to you today. Hallelujah. Your deliverance is right here today. All you got to do is believe and ask and receive what God has for you. Amen? Amen. I know that God is moving, so I want to move out of the way so the Holy Spirit can continue to move. Amen, because I know that God has a message for us on today. Amen? We're getting ready to enter, amen, the spirit of the ministry of giving. Amen? You notice I said the spirit, so I didn't get you in the hands back. We're getting ready to get into the spirit of giving. Y'all don't hear that. I know that Christmas is only a couple of months away. Amen? But we're not going to wait on Santa Claus to come. Somebody say amen. amen. I want to let you know that Jesus has already come. And he's getting ready to return again. Amen. amen. But I'm going to occupy until he comes back. Somebody shout glory. Oh. Amen. But you know when we give to God, God will give back unto us more than we give him. Amen. amen. Lift your hands up and say, Lord, oh. I want to be one of those that get more than enough. I don't want just enough money to pay my bills. Y'all don't hear me. I want something, amen, to enjoy myself. Somebody shout a little bit. Amen. I want you to get excited about giving because, amen, God don't just want us to shop when we receive, but he wants us to shop when we give him. Amen. Amen. So when we're marching around for the offering, offering in time, if you want to cut a step, you can do that. Just come on and cut the step, drop the money in the bucket, and walk on back and cut